guys, it's Lila and today I'll be doing a back to school stuff. So obviously it's February and that means I've already started school because maybe some countries they might start school in February but that's lucky. But you might not know maybe they and maybe they are, they, they are holidays on January and we'll never know unless we stay in that country. So obviously I started on some stuff and I have decorated some stuff. So firstly I'm show you. This is my backpack. It's this owl. It's new. It's a owl backpack and it's grey in the inside. It's a bit flimsy but it's still good. And the pencil case came along with it. So yeah, it has this velcro. It's not that sticky for some reason. Yeah, it's just, I'm kind of annoyed. It has this pouch. And the bag, it has a larger pouch. So, that's these two. And what I'm going to put in it is, I have now my math file. Okay. What I realized is that I have my school logo on it and then you guys might be stalking me. I have like this book. This one is a uh, book thing. Okay, it's basically like a rope paper. But it's stick together. Another one like this, but this one I had to buy it like this. Another one. My folder. It opens like that. Rule paper that has my school logo on it. Yes, my school does provide a rule paper. A storybook. I'm reading this dog diary. Student handbook. My other language. Um, I'm learning Malay or mother tongue, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is in Malay. It's basically like it's in Malay. Malay. It's weird when I talk. I'm spelling in Malay. Math textbook. Oops. English notebook. There's a math textbook, by the way. Mother tongue textbook. Science energy textbook. Um, a dry erase board or a whiteboard. Biology. Math file. This is like another math file to put in all your math homework only. A math journal. And a math bank book. That these are two different ones. This one has like rope paper. I'll give you a plain one. You can see the lines. This one is a smaller book and doesn't have lines. Later. A, a dictionary. This was a very old dictionary, but it still can be used. And my first aid bag, which is super tiny. So I'll start by organizing my backpack. And yes, I do have homework, but I still have a bit more questions to go. But my mom allowed me to go and film a video today. And I think I said it before, but I'm afraid I forgot. Is <coughs> <coughs> I'm wearing the same shirt because it's on the same day. 
so that tomorrow I'm not free at all. I have three classes all in one school, three tuitions or three extra classes. So I'll start with my file or my folder. Folder. Math folder. Or math file. It's actually called a folder. And yes, by the way, I will have my water bottle, but I do not bring a lunch box box unless it's on every Friday. Um, I'll bring my four exercise books. I think I need to put in all these stuff, so this is what I put in first. Four of them. And what I like about this bag is that it can be flipped all the way, like so. So that's really handy. By the way, I got this Smiggle wallet that my friend gave me last year. This biology that I'll put right before my all my rule paper. This file that we go all the way behind. I forgot about the file, the clear file. My energy to my math to my mother tongue. I have a ton of subjects. I got history too. My dry erase board, all white board marker, all a white board. Which will go right before my folder, but after my work paper file. I'm of my handbook or my student handbook. The jotter will go right before it. Two notebooks. I'm my two notebooks. This is what I must bring every day. A storybook is almost a must, which is kind of annoying because it just makes my back heavier. And my mom wants me to read good books. I mean, like, this is my mom that actually doesn't allow me to read this, but this is just one of the books I bring now. The file. I always forgot the file and this book. The file will go right after its math folder. Like I like to go from smallest to biggest. Wait. Okay. This one too. And yeah. By the way. This is actually a foldable bag, so I can keep the bag if I want to and just stuff it in here. But I'm gonna, you can make this as a pencil case. And this is a Velcro, but it's kind of hard to put it back. So, yeah, you can actually see that this is how strong the Velcro is supposed to be. But I can't seem to fit it in, so I just have to put it in my bag, I guess. But before that, there is a small compartment that I'll keep my calculator my dictionary okay. and my first aid kit it has like tissues and stuff in it now pencil box is what this is my old pencil box from last year the keychain used to call me that's it oh okay let's hook it up like this this is a pencil case, it's actually a converse. I might be changing it. Okay, I'll get out all my pens so I can show you. I'll pick one. Okay, so um, I have a set of these. Okay, so these are the colors, but... I oh my gosh. Don't ever drop pens, guys. They can run out of ink straight away. You might see the ink bottle that it wouldn't work. So these are my five colored pens. There are two more. Um, there are three more. It's red, black, and a darker green. But I don't want them. So these are the three pens I bring. It's neon purple, neon pink, neon green, neon orange, orange neon blue. Because I already brought a red pen myself, so I didn't really want to waste it. 
Don't tip me up pencil box too heavy. Highlighter. I have three highlighters. I have this blue highlighter. A teal highlighter or aqua green highlighter. And a yellow highlighter. And all these will fit in the big pouch. I have one of these pens which are from which is from Australia. It's yellow. I'm not gonna bring two because both of these are black pens. I'm just gonna bring one, and I'll be bringing this one. It's a like boomerang, like old fashioned style. Next thing I pay is my pencil. This is my two B pencil. So it's a not a mechanical pencil. I have two of them. These are my two B mechanical pencils. Um, this is red. This is yellow and black. They are basically the same. It's just different brand. It's actually quite big, so I don't know if it'll fit the whole thing. Um, my mechanical pencil which is blue next thing this is a permanent marker it has a thick side okay. and a thin side next thing I pull out is this three sarasa or zebra clip pens it's blue, red, and green. See, because I brought, I already have a red and green pen, so I didn't really need the rest. It's shaky, it's shaky. Yep, this has a London. My friend gave this to me. This one, I bought it myself. It also has a UK flag and this red pen that doesn't have anything. Next is this dry erase marker or a whiteboard marker. These two different types of pen. My mom really loves this pen and I'm gonna buy more. My school sells this for only 40 cents, which is crazy. 40 cents for this pen and I look super messy right now because I'm quite sick. It's a zebra one, but different. It's a 0 0.7. This 0 0.38 pen, my melody. And then last thing is my white out. Oh my god. I might just put it in here. In the small pocket, I will keep the rest except the scissors. The scissors, which is safety scissors. Wait. Snip snip. My school doesn't provide any of these. Like we must buy them. I keep this London or UK ruler, but it says London, so I just go to London. And all these will be put in the Velcro. Next thing I'll keep is this post-it plus behind um, smaller post-its. This is not the big type, so I don't need to fit everything in. I'm going to keep my two erasers. One of them is for art, one of them is normal. Like, it's good if I have this one. I Like, my teacher gave it to me. It's like this long only. It's like this long. And it costs $5. So, it's really good for art. And like, let's say if I lose eraser, at least I get one more. You don't interrupt my video. These are two erasers. Um, I have a protractor. That's what my teacher asked me. And I only have one more minute left. Um, 0 0.5 lead a sharpener <coughs> a refill of a whiteout and a stapler so that's all in my bag including my water bottle